Y'all know I wrote a book, right? It's called Buy a Game and it's free. Click the link down there, you got it. Stayallday.com Point today, we're talking about getting things done. I'm gonna tell you some great advice <clears throat> that I got from my mom. My mom gave me some great advice in life. She gave me some bad advice, mostly great advice. Most of the advice she gave me was good advice. Some advice was not good advice. But one of the best pieces of advice my mom, my mom ever gave me it wasn't actually a piece of advice. It was actually a, a directive that she used to give me and my sister when we were younger. And we weren't, you know, we weren't moving fast enough to her liking when it came to get, doing our chores, when it came to doing our homework, when it came to doing some type of school assignment or anything she wanted us to get completed for whatever reason. If we wasn't moving fast enough, my mom would just say, get things done. That's what she would always say, get things done. It wasn't a piece of advice. It was a it was an order, it was a direct order. That's pr pretty much what it was. Like a yes ma'am, direct order, get things done. Now I'm gonna give you three tips on how each one of you can get things done. Here's the first tip to get anything done in life. Number one is know, know what it is that you wanna get done. A lot of times people come, especially now that we're coming up on the New Year's, people make a New Year's resolution or they set a goal at any time of the year and they say, well, I say, what's your goal? What's your New Year's resolution? Well, I wanna save more money. I wanna lose weight. I wanna make more money. I wanna be happier. I wanna spend more time with my family and kids. I wanna be more productive in my business. Those, you don't know what you want if that's your response. If that's your goal or that's your resolution, you have a problem of not knowing what you want. Know what you want. If you wanna lose weight, that is, I wanna lose 10 pounds within the next three weeks. I wanna, I wanna increase my passive income stream so I'm making at least $500 a month passively. I wanna create a new information product that I can sell and make $100 a week extra from it. I wanna build up my business and add two people to working in my business with me over the next 30 days. So knowing what you want means you have to be specific and measurable as to what it is. That way you can know if you actually did it. Because if you say I wanna be happier, how do you measure how happy you are? You can't measure that. You can't say at the end of the year, am I happier? Yes, no, because listen, happiness, you can go up and down. You can feel good for five minutes, you can feel great for 10 minutes. It has to be specific and measurable. So if you say you wanna be happier, then what are the things that you would be doing? What are the activities you partake in? Who are the people you'd be around? What are the places you would go that would you be going and doing and hanging with that would make you happy? Then you can measure it that way. All right, did I go to that place? Did I spend more time with this person? Did I do these things? So number one is know what you want. And it has to be clear, it has to be specific, it has to be measurable, something that you can say, okay, I'm halfway there, I'm three quarters of the way there, I'm going backwards, okay, I already got that goal six months ago. So it has to know what, you have to know what you want. Step number two, you have to prepare. You have to have the things in place so you can actually get the thing that you want. So for example, if you say, I wanna sell an information product and sell 300 copies of my product every single month to add an income stream to my bottom line, then what do you need? You actually have to have an information product. You have to have, you have to actually have some knowledge and some information that's worth selling so that you can put it out and people can actually buy it. So you could say, I wanna lose weight, but if you don't have a gym membership, how are you gonna lose weight? If you haven't hired a trainer, how are you gonna lose weight? If you don't have a bunch of YouTube videos lined up so you can work out at home, how are you gonna lose weight? If you don't have no workout clothes and you ain't buying no workout sneakers, but you bought some high heels, how are you gonna lose weight? You can't lose, you can't accomplish a goal if you don't have the tools to get the goal done. So if you say, listen, I wanna get a I wanna get a new job, I wanna start a brand new career, but you haven't even updated your resume, you don't even have a business suit so you can go on a job interview, how are you gonna actually accomplish the goal? So you gotta actually prepare. Proper prior preparation prevents poor performance. So you actually have to have the things in place so you can get things done. So number one is know what you want. Number two is have the things in place. If you wanna make more money, what are you gonna to do to make the money? Are you prepared to put more time in at your job? Are you prepared to work with more people to train them so they can do your business the proper way? Are you prepared to hire an assistant so you can delegate tasks and put yourself more in line with doing the things that's gonna make you money? So you have to have the tools in place. Our right, next thing, the third thing is, and this is the most important thing, actually, no, it's not the most important thing, it's equally important as all the other, as the other two, is get things out of your way. This is the number three thing to getting things done in 2016, 2017, and forever. Get things out of your way. What does that mean? We all know that if you wake up in the morning, you make a to-do list, all the things you wanna get done at the end of the day, what happens? By the time you get to the end of the day, maybe some of those things you got done, but there's some things on that list, maybe a lot of things on that list, maybe everything on that list, 
you like, damn, I didn't get any of these things done. But at the beginning of the day, it looked like a perfect plan. Like I could do this, this, this. You know how much time each one's gonna take. And you like, based on the time I got in the day, I definitely think this can work. I can make all these things happen if everything breaks perfectly. But what happens? Maybe you get 50% of the list done, 10% of the list done, 20% of the list done. And why is that? That's because things get in the way. What type of things get in the way? Number one, other people. People get in your way wasting time. Somebody wants to talk to you for two minutes and ends up a 10 minute conversation. Let that happen three times, now you didn't waste it basically a half hour of your day. Somebody comes to you with some emergency, quote unquote emergency, is an emergency for them, it's not an emergency for you, but you handle it because you want to help other people. You want to be everything to everybody else. That got in your way, so basically two of the tasks that you wanted to get done can't get done just because of that 45 minutes of wasted time. What else happens? You do a task and you end up wasting time. So you're in the middle of a task and while you're in the middle of it, you're thinking about something, you decide to just look at your phone real quick, look at Facebook, somebody updated, posted a picture with a long caption and there's a big debate going on in the comments. You spend 15 minutes reading the comments. You might jump into the conversation. Now you just wasted 20, 25, 30 minutes. You check your Twitter feed. You're like, all right, well, let me just catch up on my Twitter feed. Then the nice article's on there. You read the article, 45 minutes and it got wasted. And then somebody knocks at the door. Then your phone rings. Then you get a text message that comes through then you like oh you know i need to post something to snapchat now another two hours got wasted the day ended and you like damn what happened to my day i had this perfect plan of getting everything done and of course you got to get out your own way i saw somebody post that in the comments getting out your own way is just like i just said was number one you had to be stringent about what where your time is and where it's going you got to be militaristic about it any of you ever been in the military or know somebody who's been in the military or even if you ever watched a movie or a tv show about the military you see how they operate right the military is that alarm is going off at exactly 4 a.m and you are getting out of that bed i don't care how tired you are you are getting out of the bed we're gonna do this for five minutes you got five minutes to get dressed you got 15 minutes to eat your breakfast you got 20 minutes to sweep the floor you got 30 minutes to put your clothes on you got one hour to work out you got another two hours to eat lunch then you got 30 minutes to do this 40 minutes to do that and it's like it's absolute it's a guarantee it's not there's no wiggle room there's no text messages getting in the way there are no emergencies that we got to stop our plan and do this other thing nothing gets in the way you got to be the same thing you got to be the same way about yourself about your business and each one of you is a business i don't care if you're 13 years old or you're 37 or you're 54 every single one of you is a business you must operate yourself like a business if you operate like a business then your business is going to start giving you returns and if all of you want to be able to make money doing the things that you actually like doing doing the things you actually enjoy doing then you got to turn yourself into a business like jay-z said in the song i'm a business man if you're not treating yourself like a business then somebody else is going to treat you like their employee which means they're going to use you so they can get what they want to build their own business eventually every single one of you is involved in somebody using you to get your get their business where they want it to be it, it can either be you or it could be somebody else you had to be militaristic about your time which means when that phone rings but you're in the middle let's say you set aside listen i'm gonna spend 30 minutes writing a blog post today because I, I told myself i'm gonna start blogging in 2016 and you 20 minutes into that 30 and your phone rings you don't answer the phone matter of fact you put your phone on silent put it on do not disturb for 30 minutes so that nobody can call you if somebody calls you listen Yo, I'm, I'm in the middle of doing this. I'll call you back at the end of this 30 minutes. I'm, in, I'm at work. If you was at work and somebody called you, you had a meeting with your boss and somebody calls you in the middle of that meeting, are you going to answer the phone? Of course not. You might send them a text and say, yo, I'm at a meeting with my boss. Let me call you back, right? Why? Because it's your job and because it's that important and because if you do answer, your boss is going to be like, yo, what the hell are you doing? You might lose your job. You got to treat your own business, which is yourself, the exact same way. And all of you know that if you are at work and your boss is talking to you and the phone rings or a tweet comes through or somebody says, yo, can you post something on Snapchat? You're not even entertaining the conversation because you're like, yo, I'm at work. My boss is standing right in front of me. You know I can't do that. It's non-negotiable. You can't even, you can't decide. You can't even pick and choose about it. It's a guarantee. It's non-negotiable that you can't do that. You need to be the same way about your own business and say, listen, I'm in the middle of this hour that I set aside that I got to set up this email list. I'm in the middle of this 45 minutes where I got to edit this video. I'm in the middle of this 10 minutes where I said I'm going to do a Periscope stream. I'm in the middle of this 25 minutes where I'm going to start writing every day so I can have my book done by the end of the year. If you treat yourself like a business the same way your the same way you treat your job like a business the same way you would treat it if your boss was standing over top of you watching every single move that you made i guarantee you would be productive 
And if you're more productive and your goals are clear, you know what you want, you are prepared, you have the things that you need, and you get things out of your way, I guarantee you'll be successful in 2016. How, would I know, how do I know you'll be successful? Because you already have your goals. If you already have a list of goals, which is step number one, just to recap everybody, you got your list of goals, step number one. You already got the things in place to actually accomplish those goals. So if you're going to start writing, of course, you need to go set up a free blog at WordPress.com or wherever you're going to be blogging at. You need to come up with your ideas for your Periscope streams. You need to figure out, outline the chapters for the book that you're going to write. You already got all that stuff in place. And number three, you get things out of your way. Get people out of your way who are wasting your time. Get thoughts out of your way which are keeping you from doing the things that you want to do. Most of them are limiting beliefs that are not even true about what you think you can't do. Once you do those three things, I guarantee you'll reach success in 2016. So to recap, number one, know what you want. Number two, get prepared, which means have the tools necessary to actually reach your goals. And number three, get things out of your way. Everybody got that. What's going on, Nisha Boo? Good morning to you. Can I take any questions from anybody? Can I take any questions from the studio audience? We're talking about getting things done in 2016 and beyond. My name is Dre All Day. For those of you who didn't catch me, allow me to reintroduce myself. I am from Philadelphia. I live in South Florida. My background, pro basketball player overseas. I am an entrepreneur right now. I do coaching and consulting for businesses, business owners, entrepreneurs, and people just like you who just want to accomplish more in their lives. And they just need a little bit of push, a little bit of information to help them do it. That's what I do. What's going on, Eleonora 10 yay yay one How you feeling? Where are you checking in from? Tired of being fat, you need to start working out. Don't need to start working out, just start working out. You got some workout gear, go work out today. Do it today. Do I know there's a legal age for weed in the U.S.? Well, weed is actually not legal in the U.S. In, in certain states it is, but I don't even know the answer to that, so you would have to look that up. Shout out to Italy. Shout out to New Jersey. Sweet one-ism. Shout out to New Jersey. Shout out to Inglewood, New Jersey, Princeton, New Jersey, Trenton, New Jersey, Camden, New Jersey. Good morning from North Carolina. What's up, Almond Eyes? What part of North Carolina are you at? Your workout is Zumba. All right, so you got a Zumba tape at the house, or what you got? How do you do your Zumba? You go to class, or what you doing? Newark, New Jersey, the Brick City. Shout out to Red Man. Shout out to Fayetteville, North Carolina. Fayetteville, Estonia. I'm watching from Texas. What part of Texas you in? Pedro, Trevino, Mexico City. Shout out to Mexico City. Shout out to Guadalajara. Shout out to Tepeat. Zumba at the gym, okay. Then hit the weights. All right, well, you going to the gym today, right? Are you going to the gym today? Is this scheduled? You got to be prepared. What's up, Naomi? Cardio or strength for losing weight? Strength. If you had to pick one, do strength training. Add muscle. It'll burn fat. But you could do both, actually. Really, overall, do both. You're trying to gain weight, then lift heavy weights. Lift heavy weights and eat more food. Shout out to Virginia. What's up, Bazaar Unity? Where you, what part of Virginia? Corpus Christi. Shout out to Corpus Christi. No days off. Absolutely. You need to sign up for a membership. Like, do it today. Do it online. You can sign up for a gym membership on the internet. So just do it online and then you come in and say, you already signed up. Just give me my membership card. You know, take my little picture. Give me the card and get out my way. And then you go do what you got to do. Yes, you got to eat more food. If you want to gain weight, you got to eat more. You got to take in more calories. Shout out to Nisha from Cali. What part of Cali you in? Shout out to Russia, everybody in Russia. I don't speak no Russian. Shout out to everybody out there. Shout out to the, the former Yugoslavia. <laughs> My name is Dre All Day. I'm an author of five books. I am a coaching consultant. I'm a professional athlete. This is my background. I'm a professional speaker. What else do I do? I'm a salesperson. <laughs> you can't stick to any plans that you have. What's the problem then? Why can't you stick to your plans? Send me an email, dre at dreallday.com. Happy New Year to you too. Beverly Hills, 90210, Northern Cali. I got a question about the three deep breaths. Uh, you don't have to announce that you have a question. Just post the question. Russia and USA is good. You're right. Russia and USA are both good. Only thing is, we got better weather down here in South Florida. Email is Dre. That's my name, Dre, at DreAllDay.com. Can somebody please post that as a comment? My email address, which is Dre at DreAllDay.com. Will I be your personal trainer? Send me an email. Send me an email. We can work some out. We can do that over uh, like a Skype. So I don't know if you're joking, but that actually can be worked out. Your health coach. Yes, I absolutely can do that. Good morning to you, George. Hi, 20. Where are you checking in from, George? Thank you, Sadiq, for posting my email address. That's dre at dreallday.com. All right, send me an email. You got the email address, Nisha. We can definitely make that happen. We're making a lot of things happen in 2016, ladies and gentlemen. We're making a lot of things happen every year. All right, don't even, it don't matter that it's New Year's Eve. We'd be having this conversation no matter what day it was. 
But today, getting things done is important because I know a lot of people, you know, tomorrow's a new year, new day. Even people who set goals all the time, like myself, tomorrow being a new year, everybody's got that energy. It's a new year. It's a new me. We're going to get these things done. And wait till y'all see the, the TED Talk that I did a couple months ago. They ain't put the video out yet because they've been working on editing the video. It got to be up to the TED standards and all that. I did a TED Talk two months ago. For those of y'all know what TED Talks are. The video didn't come out yet, but it's coming. Tips on burning fat extremely fast, as fast as possible. Well, I'm not a, I'm not an expert on that. So I probably can't, I probably shouldn't even give you an answer to that question because I don't want to give you incorrect information. But you can look up, uh, look up my guy, Big Brandon Carter on YouTube. He's good with that stuff. He talks about that stuff every day. Me, I'm more on the, me, what I'm, my focus is more on the discipline side, the mentality side, the mindset side when it comes to those type of things when i know this stuff you know i'm an athlete but i'm not a uh i'm not a nutritionist i missed that question coach kev say it one more time <clears throat> my focus is on confidence belief success motivation self-discipline sales leadership team building those type of things those are the things that i focus on those are the things that i speak about that's what i write about that's the things i do these periscope streams about that's what i blog about every single day you want to read more of my thoughts on a daily basis, just go to DreAllDay.com. You can read my blog. I blog every single day. I'm waiting for Coach Kev's question, and we're going to wrap this one up this morning. Unless anybody else got a question, you can post it real quick. This is Dre Baldwin. My website's DreAllDay.com. You want to read my books, go to DreAllDay.com slash Amazon. You can read all of my books. And I got more stuff coming out. Well, wait till y'all see what I got coming. I'm just waiting on these editors right now. That's the only thing I'm waiting on. I'm waiting on editors. We'll go check my blog now. All right, Flex Club, I appreciate that. And you can get my book for free when you go over there. It's going to be a pop-up for my first book, Buy Game. Just put your email address in and we'll send it to you. How's the 3D breast work for young athletes? The same way. What do you mean? Coach Kev, what do you mean by how do 3D breaths work? I mean, you know what a deep breath is, right? Are you new to Periscope? Shout out to everybody that's new to Periscope. Can I spell out my email? Can somebody please post my email address again in the comments? My email address is very easy to remember. It's my name. My name is Dre. And my website is called Dre All Day. Dre at DreAllDay.com. Thank you, George. If you send an email to anything at DreAllDay.com, it's coming to me. They call it a catch-all. What's up, Adnan Yousef222? So, Coach Kev, you got a young athlete. Tell them three deep breaths. Tell them to take three deep breaths before the game, during the game. Whatever the situation is, something she should do during live games to change her thoughts. Well, you can't make her do anything during a live game. During a game, she's going to decide what she's going to do. You just give her the information. That's your job, Coach Kev. Your job is to supply people with all the tools that they need. Now, whether or not they use the tools is up to them. But if you supply the tools, you did your job. But you can't make somebody do something. You can't make somebody think a certain way. You can't make somebody take three deep breaths. They do what they want. <laughs> if they want to do it, they do it. They don't, they don't. What's up, Night Nerds 99? Are you just getting off work? You just waking up? What you doing? Shout out to Boston. Actually, I just I was just uh talking business with a guy I know from Boston. He lives down here. Downloaded the audio affirmations from the website and they're great. Oh, thank you, George. I don't even think a lot of people even know about that. But I got another one coming. Again, editors, waiting on editors right now. I could edit it myself, but that would take too much time. I'm learning to delegate more and more. So I just got to wait on them, and now I'm finding people who can do it faster. What's the books? is audio, so I can listen while I'm on the road. Well, you read in my mind, said that's coming. Audio books are coming. I was listening to somebody else's audio book, and it was terrible. I read the book. It was great, but then the audio book was terrible. So they need a better audio book uh, recorder. I actually emailed that person and said, let me re-record your audio book for you, because the audio was so terrible. It was like sleep-inducing, but the book is excellent. All right, everybody. Today is the last day of 2015. Don't waste no time today. Don't think today is a time, to, a day to waste because tomorrow is a new year. Listen, every day is a new day. So y'all got to get going on it right now. Sign up to get the marketing content PDF. Never got the PDF file. When did you sign up, Sterling? Send me an email. I have a good voice for audiobooks, so thank you. Happy New Year to you too, sweet one-ism. Send me an email. Uh, person who said they didn't get that pdf send me an email i'll make sure that you get it make sure that you're actually on the list happy new year to you from turkey y'all have a great afternoon y'all might see me later on so make sure you follow me turn on those notifications work on your game dreallday.com make sure you get my first book buy a game it is free click the link right here below in the video description i'm on all your favorite social media platforms snapchat instagram twitter 
Facebook, Periscope. All the links are right down here below. Is either Dre Baldwin or Dre All Day on each one of those sites. And make sure you are subscribed. Hit that subscribe button down there and the thumbs up like button. Subscribe so you catch all the new content. I work on your game. Dre All Day.